this video gets over 50 likes, maybe we'll do a giveaway of this jacket. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. What is this, spirit fingers? Welcome back to another video. My name is Michael Shu, and today we have another leather jacket unboxing and first impression for you guys. This is from Avi Leather in Denmark, but we will talk a little bit more about that company later before we unbox it, talk about the packaging. If you guys are new here, I'd really appreciate it if you guys leave a subscribe and smash that like button. You know what, I shouldn't tell you guys what to do. You hit the like button, I appreciate it. If not, not a big deal. Anyways, let's move on. Let's look at the packaging and unbox it and see what it's like. This is the packaging, very standard. It's not even a box, so that's something I'm a little surprised at. But it's a very normal package, nothing special about this front and back. There was my shipping slip over here, but I took that off because I don't want you to see my address. Something to note though is how fast the shipping is. Like I said, they are based in Denmark and it only took three days from Denmark to get to San Diego. Very fast, they use DHL Express, so it only took three days. Very fast, really impressed. All right, let's go ahead and unbox it and see what is inside. Cool. Yeah. Whoa, I can get my scissors. Whoa, smells kind of good, smells good. All right, I'll give you guys the first look. You guys ready? First look. Whoa, okay. It comes in a pouch, in a bag, a tote bag like this, covering the leather jacket, making sure it is safe. It says Avi Leather. Over here it says Denmark, you see? Shipped from Denmark. And it even came with a handwritten note. Look at this. Can you see this? It's a very sweet and simple message. Dear Michael, I hope you like the jacket. Best regards, Martin. Oh, very thoughtful. Anything in here? Nope, nothing. Just a sweet note. Handwritten, love it. All right, let's go ahead and open and see what's inside. Ooh, how do you open this? Ooh, up top here has a little uh, thing to close it. Nice drawstrings. Oh, I'll let you guys look at it first. You see anything? Let me pull it out, I'm not even looking. Giving you guys a first look. Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby. You see this? Let me smell it. Oh, it smells like leather, look at that. Look at this jacket, wow. All right, so this is a G1 jacket, and this is made out of full grain goatskin leather. And the cuffs here are wool. It has these leather pull tabs with talon zippers. Go ahead and unzip it. And on here, let's see, do you see the tag? Let's see the tag, what does the tag say? So on here, it says G1 Seal Brown, size 42. And on here it says, US Navy G1 Flight Jacket. All right, so what's so special about Avi Leather is that they make authentic World War II leather jackets. On their website right now, there are only four styles, so they really craft their jackets and make the specifications and reproduce the authentic styles of World War II. So the four styles they have are the A2, A1, G1. They have two A2s in different colors. So two A2s, G1, and an A1. I got the G1 here. I really like it. It's full grain goatskin leather. And let's see what else he says about the jacket. All right, so this G1 jacket is an exact reproduction of the original G1. Like I said, they really make authentic the leather is a full grain goatskin and the knit are produced in wool with the same weaving structure. The talon zipper is also sourced specifically for this since the type was used for these jackets. Bring back. Oh my gosh, and you look on the back here, this is USN for US Navy. Let's go ahead, should I go ahead and try this on? All right, let's try it on. What? Inside there's a pocket here. This one is button, button snap. Look at that, whoa. It doesn't have a stinky smell. One thing you might know is that if you get a really cheap leather jacket, as soon as you unbox it, it smells like glue, it feels plasticky. This doesn't have any of that. It feels nice and sturdy and you feel it. It's real leather, real goat skin. Let's go ahead and put this on. Ooh. 
Whoa. Whoa. It's a little snug. I definitely like it. Oh, it has a nice stretch. Oh my gosh. Over here by the shoulders, that's usually where it's the tightest for leather jackets because it's not as flexible. However, over here, they have this five swing flap over here that makes it easy to move. I definitely love this feature. Oh my God. If you know, I've worn other leather jackets and sometimes it's just so stiff and hard. However, with this one, I'm able to move so freely. What? I think the flexibility, the fit on this is amazing. Like I said, this is just a first impression and an unboxing video, so I haven't done a full review yet. But I'm gonna be wearing this so often. It's getting a little bit warm outside, so I might wear it at night times only. But oh, the thing that I love is I'm able to stretch so freely with this bi swing flap over here. Love this, oh, love this jacket, love this pocket, this inside pocket with the button. And you see over here, like a G1, it has these pockets. Can you see that? Ooh. How does it look on me, guys? It's nice and tight. Should I zip it up? Try to zip it up. It fits nice. It fits really snug. I like it. It's nice and tight over here, but the thing I'm worried about usually is when it's tight here, usually the arms and the shoulders, and the elbows especially gets very tight, but that has none of the issues. It fits really nicely. I'm really, overall, I'm really impressed, and I really like this jacket so far. Love the knitting. See this over right here? Look at that. How does it look, guys? Oh man, I really like this jacket. Like I said, this is just an unboxing so far. I really am impressed. Just the unboxing, the first impression, the fit on this thing. Oh my gosh. So when you do order a jacket from Avi Leather, you they have standard sizes on their website. However, you're also able to tell them what size you are. You can make the waist a little bit bigger, the shoulders, the sleeves a little bit longer. So you don't have to go to the standard sizing on the website. If you want some measurement changes, you just submit that and let them know, hey, you want the sleeves a little bit longer and they will do that for you. This is a size 42. I'm 175, 76 pounds. I'm like 5'8", five, 5'9", five, and I got the size 42, and right now it fits perfectly. If you guys are looking for an authentic reproduction of a World War II leather jacket, I highly recommend going to check out Avi Leather, which they are based in Denmark. I'll be sure to leave their website in the description down below. Be sure to follow them on their social medias. That's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this leather jacket unboxing of the G1 authentic World War II leather jacket. I'm so stoked. This is the biggest thing I am most excited about is how flexible it is. Look at this, no issue. Oh, 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 ooh, so flexible. Definitely loving it. If you guys have any questions about any leather jackets or if you guys have any questions about Avi Leather, be sure to reach out to me on Instagram at MichaelHSU95. If you guys have any other questions, be sure to leave it down below in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. And if this video gets over 50 likes, maybe we'll do a giveaway of this jacket. Go ahead and like it, share this video. Let's get over 50 likes. Let's try to give one of these jackets away. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.